Second Samuel chapter four. Ishbosheth is murdered. Ishbosheth, the son of Saul, heard that Abner had died in Hebron. Then he wasn't so brave anymore, and all of the people of Israel became alarmed. Two men in Ishbosheth's army led small companies that attacked their enemies. The names of the men were Bana and Rechab. They were sons of Rimon from the town of Beeroth. Rimon was from the tribe of Benjamin. Beeroth is considered to be part of Benjamin. That's because the people who used to live in Beeroth had run away to Gitaim. They had lived there as outsiders to this very day. Jonathan, the son of Saul, had a son named Mephibosheth. Both of Mephibosheth's feet were hurt. He was five years old when the news that Saul and Jonathan had died came from Jezreel. His nurse picked him up and ran, but as she hurried to get away, he fell down. That's how his feet were hurt. Rechab and Bana started out for the house of Ishbosheth. They were the sons of Rimon from Beeroth. They arrived there during the hottest time of the day. Ishbosheth was taking his early afternoon nap. Rechab and his brother Bana went into the inside part of the house. They acted as if they were going to get some wheat. Instead, they stabbed Ishbosheth in the stomach. Then they slipped away. They had gone into the house while Ishbosheth was lying on his bed in his bedroom. They stabbed him and killed him. Then they cut off his head and took it with them. They traveled all night through the Arabah Valley. They brought the head of Ishbosheth to King David at Hebron. They said to him, Here is the head of Ishbosheth, the son of Saul. Saul was your enemy. He often tried to kill you. Today the Lord has paid Saul and his family back. He has let you get even with them. You are our king and master. David gave an answer to Rechab and his brother Bana. They were the sons of Rimon of Beeroth. David said, The Lord has saved me from all of my troubles. A man once told me, Saul is dead. He thought he was bringing me good news, but I grabbed hold of him. I had him put to death in Ziklag. That's the reward I gave him for his news, and that's just as sure as the Lord is alive. Now you evil men have killed a man in his own house. He hadn't done anything wrong. You killed him while he was lying in his own bed. You spilled his blood, so shouldn't I spill your blood? Shouldn't I wipe you off the face of the earth? Then David gave an order to his men. They killed Rechab and Bana. They cut off their hands and feet. They hung their bodies by the pool in Hebron, but they buried the head of Ishbosheth in Abner's tomb at Hebron.